All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me tonight on Instinctive Addiction. I've got one for you tonight that I pray you will find extremely helpful. All right, so you say, well, why are you outside at night? Why do you shoot at night? All right, I'm going to show you why I shoot at night, and I hope you will find this to be really, really helpful. I'm going to fire one here real quick. Then I'm going to explain why I do this and what the effects are of it, okay? Very, very important. And you got to have some lighted knocks to really get the full effect of this, unless you got a lot of light on your target where you could see a standard knock. But I like the lighted knocks. It helps me really figure my groups out well. It does. Plus, you can see the air fly extremely good. All right. Dead center. Perfect. As perfect as a shot can be. And you know what, guys? I didn't even think about anything. I'm sitting here trying to film. I got a camera running. Uh, I didn't take time to think about my draw, my hand placement, my anchor point. I didn't think about any of that stuff. And I hit dead on. So you say, well, how do you do that? Well, I'll tell you guys, that's why I'm out here shooting at night right now with no interruptions because you have to maintain your shot process. That's right. You got to maintenance it like anything else. You have got to maintain whatever it is that you do, okay? For it to become second nature where you don't have to think about it, where all you have to do is, is just do it without thinking it happens. How does that come about in instinctive shooting a traditional bow? Well, guys, I'll tell you, it's through practice, 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 okay? But first of all, guys, I believe in all my heart, it cannot be done. It cannot be done, number one, until you develop a shot process that is deadly accurate. Whatever style that it may be, no matter how you draw the bow, hold the bow by the grip, where you anchor, how you release your back tension, all those things, whatever your style, how, how much you can the bow or don't can it, whatever it may be, if you are extremely accurate with what you are doing, don't change it. Because if you try too many things and you try to change too many things, you're gonna be all over the place and you're gonna find yourself thinking about your shot process. You're gonna be thinking about it. When you go to draw the bow, you're gonna start thinking about how you're holding it, how you're drawing, how you're gonna release. All these thoughts will come in your mind and guess what? You're cluttered, you're cluttered. You're not focused. You're not focused on that tiny little spot that you wanna hit, right? Because you can't multitask to that level. You cannot do it. I can't do it. So when I developed my shot process that worked for me, a two-point anchor, back tension, and a very comfortable bow. By the way, the bow is more important than you think it is. Absolutely it is. Guys, I have picked up bows that there is no way that I could shoot consistent groups with. I could not do it. Either the grip was wrong for me, the pounds were too heavy, the brace height was wrong, Something about the bow just did not feel right, and I could not come to my draw comfortably and execute a shot with a particular bow. For whatever the reason may be, I have picked up bows that I just could not shoot very well, okay? So, if you are fighting that battle, if you have a bow and you're all over the place, one time on, one time off, and you just cannot get consistent with the bow, I highly encourage you to get rid of it. Get rid of it and get you something that you are very comfortable with, that you naturally can hit, that will hit and point where you're looking, okay? Now, custom bows like the one I've got now, my Jeff Lamar bow, this is the latest and greatest that I've gotten from him, my Ash Recurve, which I love so much. One reason this bow is so easy to shoot instinctively and like so many of them are, is because if you look at the riser, that arrow rides right here. It rides right here across my hand, right across it, right across my finger almost, almost like a self bow. That is very, very important with shooting instinctive because when you put a little cant on the bow, a little cant, 
And the way that arrow rides, all you have to do is look at your spot and come to a good, good, solid anchor and let it go, and it's there. You don't have to work at it, okay? I've got ILF bows that are super accurate too, but the only way that they are for me is if I have the correct grip, a grip that feels a lot like this grip here does, that's very natural, okay? If a bow doesn't feel natural in your hand, you're probably not gonna shoot it consistent, no matter what the bow is, okay? So number one, you gotta get a bow that fits you. You gotta get a bow that's not over pounded because it is impossible, as I've stressed so many times, guys, it is impossible for you to be accurate and consistent if you are struggling to hold a bow back. You can't do it. You cannot do that, and you don't have to with today's bows. They're, they're, they're so fast, it's ridiculous. And if you have the right arrow set up, you just don't have to shoot that heavy of pounds. You don't have to. Okay, 47 to 50 pounds is my weight range with a 27 and a half inch draw and it's so comfortable i could literally hold it all day long i choose not to because i just don't have to but it's very very comfortable okay so back to the shot process and why i come out here at night and i do my maintenance on my shot is because i can get my mental focus right at night when there are no interruptions no cars coming up and down the road horns blowing doors shutting kids screaming uh phones ringing heat, sweat, a multitude of things that affect your ability to shoot your best. Now, we shoot in those conditions all the time. You, you got to do that. But for real, real maintenance, if you can find a way to come out at night and actually shoot at night where it's peaceful and quiet and nothing going on and you've got a great bow and lighted arrows, man, you can just focus on your execution executing your shot and working on your form to the utmost and that's why i do it so i'll come out here sometimes and i'll shoot 50 to 100 rounds at night and just work on getting a perfect release perfect anchor perfect back tension seeing just how accurate i can be because i promise you guys you will shoot your very best under those conditions. That's a fact. But you want to do it for the sole purpose of getting it to where it is second nature, to where you don't have to think about anything. You just focus on what you want to hit, and everything else is automatic. And when it becomes automatic, that's when it's fun. Because in a hunting situation, you don't have time to think about a lot of things, guys. You don't have time to think about it. You just, you focus, you make the shot. You don't have time to think, okay? And that's why I do what I do here. So, what I'm going to do now to show you guys my typical practice. All right, I fired the first arrow there in as dead center as it can be. It's inside of a, a quarter-sized, honest to goodness, little dot like this, okay? And I didn't think about anything. But now that I've got one in there, this is when I really want to slow down, clear my mind, and really, really try to execute the tightest group that I possibly can. That's what we're going to try to do. So, here we go. Relax. Clear your mind. All right. That one's about an inch high not acceptable not in my standards anyway so that means i did not focus like i should i mean it's not bad don't get me wrong but that's not what i'm out here to do i'm out here to shoot sub one inch groups if possible especially you know in the 17 yard range that's you know that's what they should be every single time so i'm gonna shoot for that bottom knock again there we go almost knocked it out those two cannot be that far apart. Now, I can grab this batch of arrows and I can put probably a dozen in there right now, okay? Because I do this all the time. But the point of this video is you've got to get somewhere that nothing is going on. Nothing's bothering you. There are no 
outside interferences where you can really think about how do I shoot? What is my process? What, what, what do I do? And it gives you time to really work on that without anything interrupting you whatsoever and influencing you in a way that would cause you to not be able to, to shoot the same. So in other words, I do this at night for the sole purpose of maintaining my shot process. And I love it because sometimes I can get out here and shoot so good that I start thinking, God, if I could just shoot this good every single time that I go out anywhere that I'm at, if you could just do that, you'd be the best in the world. Well, it's not about that, guys. It's about having fun. And I'm a hunter, okay? But I still want to shoot the very best I can, no matter what the situation. So I love shooting at night with lighted knocks and the practice like I just did. It's so fun, guys. So uh, I pray that this has helped you in some way. I encourage you, if you don't have a place to do this, find you somewhere good to shoot at night if possible. Whatever you can do to at least get away. And if you can't do it at night, try to find that quiet spot. If you have to throw a target in your truck somewhere and go find you somewhere to get off away from all the hustle and bustle and noise where you really can focus on your form, and making that perfect shot and do it and do it and do it until it becomes second nature where you don't even have to think about it. You just do it and it's there every single time. And guys, you know, you know, the second that you release that string, you know if it's on. It's crazy, but you do. You know if you've made a perfect shot before that arrow even gets to the target. It, it's hard to explain, but it's true. <laughs> So, guys, I pray again that this has helped you. Thank you so much for joining me. I love you all so much, and uh, we really appreciate you tuning in. And I uh, hope to bring you some uh, really exciting videos here really, really soon. We've got a lot of stuff working, some really in-depth things in the world of uh, bow uh, arrow building, uh, bow tuning, broadheads. Oh, man, we're, gonna get, we're going all out with broadhead stuff. It's, it's, it's just so cool. Uh, we're going to do some penetration tests, uh, oh, man, everything you can think of pretty much. We are getting geared up for deer season. It's not that far away, and we're going to hopefully save you guys some money because we're going to test and show you things, what works and what does not work and what not to waste your money on and what absolutely will get the job done and what can make your rig the most perfect it can possibly be. So thank you guys again. Love you. God bless you.